What's up guys? It is a really hot and muggy Wednesday here in the lovely state of Michigan. Um, this will be our four wheel Friday episode. So what we're doing today is one of the wheel bearings on my truck has started to fail, which is not really that surprising. It's at 95,000 miles and most of my driving's uh, highway. So I, I, it's a lot of high speed, high heat, it's not really surprising that it's that it's going out. So what I got here is I'll sit you somewhere. So what I got here is a new wheel bearing. Now this is there's a couple there's two different types of wheel bearings that you'll see mainly. Um, one is like a tapered bearing that sits inside of a race, which I'll show you guys that you know this is what a tapered bearing looks like. And then this is the race that it that it rides in that has to be actually pressed in meaning it has to it has to be pushed into the hole that it goes into now this is not one of those it is not that setup this is what they call oops, sorry this is what they call a wheel hub assembly so this actually has the bearing already in it um but you can see it's it's a kind of a whole piece right so the bearings here this is the bearing and this is how it bolts into the truck and then obviously here are your uh, your wheel studs so it's a whole assembly so you just take once you get everything taken apart off the truck that you got to get taken apart um, you just basically uh, pound the old one out put this one in three bolts make sure you this is for your ABS or your your wheel speed you just plug that in put everything back together and everything's copacetic so today will be an install video or well replacement video so what I've done so far is I just wanted to do a quick thing so this is important to do if you're doing this at home like like I am today this is the axle nut so this is your axle inside of here okay because I have four I have four-wheel drive so I have an axle here and this is the nut that holds it on and now it is important that you take this off while the tire's still on the ground before you before you lift it up because it is going to take a little bit of muscle to get this off and if you lift the wheel up the problem is is that you're that you're going to run into is that um the the whole assembly is going to try to spin and you can't keep it in one spot so what we're going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and get the wheel off and then i probably see the sweat dripping on my face i'm going to get the wheel off i'm going to take the or i'm going to lift the truck up after I loosen the lug nuts and then take the whole wheel off and then we got to take apart the brake assembly so let me get that done and then I'll be right back all right so a little bit where we're at I got the got the brakes taken off make sure you don't leave your uh, brake pads with the pad side down so you don't get any contaminants in it that one popped up same thing with your rotor make sure that you put the hub side down on the ground so that the brake surface itself stays clean you know what why I put this nut back on is I always get it a little bit flush and just tap it. I don't know if you can tell, but you gotta this is the hub this is a hub assembly right here. So the axle actually goes through it. As you can see kind of inside, you can kind of see the teeth and how it's it's got the splines in there. So all you're doing all you're doing is you're just trying to release it so that it moves. So when you when you take the three bolts out on the back just pulls right off that and when you take the bolts out on the back you have to kind of move this back so it gives you a little bit of a little bit of space to get to that one of these bolts there's one there one there and then there's another one right there you just push this back a little bit so you can get to them which isn't it which isn't really a big deal and then uh, yeah then it's kind of a trick to kind of get this this loose from the assembly or from the this is this is what they call a spindle so this this piece that it's bolted into is called the spindle okay and then you got lower control arm this is the lower ball joint is right here this is your lower ball joint and then this is the whole spindle assembly okay and then your upper control arm that's part of your suspension tie rod in while we're in here so you just kind of identify some pieces and parts so this bolts into the spindle assembly itself and as you can see right here, see this little cable? So you just gotta follow it all the way back. This just pops, it's just a little grommet, just a 
hold the cable in place basically so just pop that right off this one is going to be a little bit more tricky because you just got to put you just put a little uh, uh, flathead screwdriver in the bottom here and just kind of turn it to the left and it should pop that open but this goes all the way back somewhere underneath here which I'll oh right where my hands at right behind where my hand is I think is where the connector is yep it's right here see the little two prongs right here that's actually the connector so we'll just disconnect the connector once we get this pop loose Oops, sorry once we get this pop loose we'll disconnect that connector make sure the lines all loose there's another clip right here we got to take off um and that's it and then this will come out that one will go in and then we'll just put everything back together so let me get to work on that this like i said this is going to be kind of a pain in the ass to get to get out usually um we'll see how it goes and then uh, we'll move on from there all right hey guys all right cool so we're gonna do a little bit of an update on what's going on here all right so you can see this is the old one I had to pound it out but it's yeah it's it's gone so this is supposed to spin pretty freely and it does but it makes noise because the bearing is actually starting to fail and that's what I could hear on the highway was that hum and for guys who have trucks like these that have all-terrain tires kind of like kind of like how i have my tires you get a little bit of uh, tire hum but you're gonna notice you're definitely gonna notice it when you're going especially down the freeway um it's it's like a different it's not really like a tire hum it kind of seems like it but uh it's actually it'll actually be the wheel bearing even if you have all-terrain tires you're still gonna hear the wheel bearing it might not be as predominant as mine was but you'll still hear it so to get this off all i did was just whacked it real hard on the back side of this because obviously this is this is garbage so we don't really care about doing any more damage to it but i just got this to where the base here um moved back far enough to where i could get my uh pry bar in in the corner and i just kind of hit the pry bar down you know kind of kind of just chiseling it out because this is kind of almost almost like it's pressed in not really but it's it's a tight fit so it's it's really difficult so obviously you know i kind of whack that a couple times had to put it back in place make sure you do put this back on this is important that you have it on this dust shield is very important so and then all we have to do now is uh oh yeah so we can take oh this came with a new one well i don't want to take those clips out so what I'll show you here is, see obviously it has the, the new hold on clips. So as you can, I don't know if you guys can really see it that well. I don't have anywhere to put you either. Let's see if we got one down here. All right. So as I was saying, you just take, take the screwdriver, just turn it and it comes right off. You just gotta be mindful of it because you will break them. These these tend to break pretty easily. All right, and then just route it back the way that it's supposed to go. You know, making sure you put your clips back on, making sure you get to all the different sections. So we're already kind of running into a little bit of a problem that I can see here. So obviously that does not fit there. Um, it will because it's part of the caliper. So just get the caliper out here a little bit closer where it needs to go. This will actually go like this, I believe. Oh, easiest way to find out, figure out for sure. Yep, yeah, okay. So that will go like that. All right. Well, we gotta apparently get the brakes on. So all I'm gonna do is just this back on. Now, if you watch my brake install video, this is uh, still the same concept. You know, throw a lug nut on there. Kind of see, just spinning a lug nut on the bottom as far as it'll go. Just kind of keeps it straight up to to an extent. Just be mindful of what you're doing when you put this on. Bottom one first. 
so that it holds it up. If it wants to go in the hole, it's not threading in. There it goes. All right. That's on. This one's on. Now these back ones are 21 mil, 21 millimeter. Um, if you're wondering what size these are, the uh, the three bolts on the back for the wheel hub are 18 millimeter. Um, I would suggest uh, getting a shallow socket with a small extension. I used. If I can find it, oh, this extension, small little three inch extension, and a short socket. And then when you do it, uh, to get easier to the bolts, you just make sure you just hold that back as far as you can. If you're keeping the axle in, you can take the axle out. I prefer not to do that because you'd have to pop the lower ball joint off, and that's not exactly an easy task. Sorry, guys. Uh, my son just ran out and told me that there's milk all over the place. It's actually uh, took the trash out and it just spilled a little bit. He thought it was milk all over the floor. Freaked me out, man. So anyway, moving on. 13 mil. Like I said, it's always always easier to put the bottom ones on first. Now I haven't tightened anything down yet. I'm just trying to do make this quick. Um, just kind of show you how I put it on. Now when I took this caliper off I did decompress press it some so that it makes it easier for it to get to get it on to get it off just remember when you uh, bef before you start the truck make sure you pump your brakes with the truck off um, just to make sure that this all fills back up pretty good and doesn't get any air in the system or anything like that just get this back on there like that take this lug nut off And now that this is in place, like the, the caliper itself and all that stuff is in place, we can put this where it needs to go. Now, again, here's the connector. Don't pull on it too hard, but I do want to pull it down so you can see. Just slide it in until you hear it click like that. This is the safety clip, remember, from my... Um, fuel sensor install video of what the safety clips are. Make sure you push it down. And then, again, see those two holes right there? Got the two prongs on here. Basically just line it up, shove it in there. Need two hands. There it goes, okay. Bam. So there's your ABS line. Everything's put back the way it was. And that's pretty much it, guys. Everything's on there. It's gonna spin, it's gonna be nice and quiet. It's not gonna grind when I hit bumps. So, um, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're stopping it for the first time, hit that subscribe button. But just like that, I'm going to finish this up, guys, and that'll be the end of it. So until next time, deuces.